Okay, doing a little spin on a new trend. I'm going to do five breeds that I would not own because I am a veterinarian. This is my opinion and my opinion only, and it's also for fun, so don't get your panties in much. Coming in at number five are the Chinese Cresteds. I mean, the dogs and stuff are fine. I don't like hairless animals. They're zitty. They're kind of greasy. Same with cats. Kind of feel like a ball sack. No for me. Number four, these ankle biters. Nope, not not my cup of tea. Uh, afraid I'm gonna get stepped on. Will more than likely be bit if I had one. They're usually a one person dog. No, we've got a few that are just like super, super, super sweet. The rest of them are ankle biters. Three, not just a pug, but just any brachycephalic breeds. I mean, some of them are so cute and so sweet, but they can't breathe, literally cannot breathe. They snore. I've already got a husband that snores. I don't need anything else. Um, skin full dermatitis, allergies, yeasty, smelly, gassy. It's a no for me, dog. Coming in at number two, the GSD. This also applies to Bel Belgian Malinois. Basically, they have the potential to be really great dogs, uh, good police dogs, good like, you know, rescue type scenarios but 95% of the ones that we see in clinic want to bite your face off uh, because they're not properly trained. I know that I would not be able to properly train them because I have no time. Um, so if you think about getting these dogs, don't do it lightly because they need lots of training, lots of attention, uh, but yeah, would never on. And coming in at one to piss everyone off is the Golden Doodle. <laughs> Uh, some of these dogs are really sweet, but the, I mean, a lot of them are crazy, crazy hyper, can't sit still for two seconds. We've had some really aggressive ones as well. They're just kind of squirrely. Um, ear infections out the wazoo. So expensive grooming. They are mixed brood. Um, just too high maintenance for me. No, I'd rather have a hound dog. Why? Yes, I can. So five breeds that I would own. Again, this is my own personal preference from my experiences. Also, I am impartial to big breeds, so let's go. At number five, a Great Pyrenees. Now, they don't necessarily do great at the vet, uh, typically because they are herding dogs. They are out there with the goat, sheep, uh, you have it, uh, farm animals. Uh, if they're actually doing a job. Um, so a lot of them aren't used to being inside or around people. So they're not necessarily the best at the vet, but I love them. I've had several. They have been the best, best dogs. Uh, love them so much. They are also the ones that make you want to go, it's so fluffy when they're puppies. Number four, GSPs. These are beautiful, super athletic, happy dogs. Like I honestly can't think I have seen a, one that was not happy. Um, definitely high energy though. You do not want to own these if you are sedentary, if you do not like adventure, if you do not like taking them for walks every day, like play and fetch, anything like that. Like these are athletic dogs. They need to be exercised or they will destroy stuff. Love them. Great dogs, beautiful dogs. Number three, and there's only a couple reasons why this is not number one, is the Golden Retriever. Love this breed. They are so beautiful, so kind, great family dog. This is a good first dog, like especially just for families. Just good temperament, easy to train. Love them, love them. Coming in at number two, I don't have a picture because it is your mutt. They can look like anything. They're fantastic dogs. They usually don't have as many like genetic or hereditary problems um, like pure breeds do. They are thankful that they have a home. This is your dog that just, you know, wanders up and is with you uh, from then on. Um, those dogs are just great. Highly recommend them, but um, I hate calling them a mixed breed. Um, I mean, they're just the best dogs. Get one off the street, get one from your shelter, go to it now. And then number one, Probably to no one's surprise is the Basset Hound. <laughs> They're smelly. They have a really deep, loud bark. They can have ear, back, um, weight problems. Thankfully, mine is good on that. Uh, they can sometimes be a little crotchety at the vet, but I love them. I love them. They're so sweet. Mine is just like the best dog ever. He comes to work with me every day. Dobby, you won.
Come on. 